George thought Professor Wiseman's beach house was great. This time, it was even greater because George had brought Yorbo, the friendliest robot ever. Searching, searching, searching. Item found. <laughs> Yorbo is great, yes? <laughs> Yorbo's next job was to help George and the man with the yellow hat pack a lunch for the beach. No, not... Look out! Ah! Oh, uh, sorry, George. I I'm listening to an audiobook, The Slimy Sea Monster from the Sea. It's great and scary. George didn't understand how something could be great and scary. Thanks. <laughs> now, are you ready for a long hike to the beach? <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hope we don't run into any slimy sea monsters. Whew. George couldn't think of a better way to spend the day than exploring the beach with Yorbo. Keep items in here. <laughs> Say, George, you want to go swimming? <laughs> oh, good idea. Sorry, Yorbo. Robots can't swim. Could you read the manual again, please? <laughs> well, George, if your bow was made of plastic like your bucket or wood like this chair, he could go in the water. But your bow is made of metal, which rusts when it gets wet. And rust is very bad for metal because it does this. <laughs> Last monkey in is a rotten turnip. <laughs> I guess a storm is coming. Correction, the storm is here. Quick, George, let's get inside. Ooh, made it. Uh -oh. uh, okay. George thought it would be fun to sit inside a cozy house and watch a storm with the man and Yorbo. George, you can't go outside when there's thunder and lightning. Oh, Yorbo is out there. Don't worry, he'll get wet, but we'll clean and dry him before he has time to rust. As soon as the storm quiets down, we'll go get him. Hey, how about a game of tic-tac-toe? George usually really enjoyed tic-tac-toe, but this time he couldn't get his mind off Yorbo. Huh? <gasps> wow, the storm really did a number on the beach. Don't worry, George. Yorbo's a tough little robot. We'll find him. <laughs> Under the seaweed? Could be. Okay. But Yorbo wasn't under that seaweed or any of the seaweed. <sighs> okay. George thought it was a great day for the county fair and sheep competition. Oh, I'm so excited, George. Grandpa's in the sheepdog competition. Ooh. And he's not even a sheepdog. Oh. Let's hurry. It's almost time for the final round. Yeah. 
it was hard for George and Allie to hurry at a spring fair. There were tractors to play on and prize-winning turnips to admire. <laughs> There was even a barber shop for sheep. <laughs> Don't worry, George. The sheep's hair will grow back. Besides, now that summer's coming, the sheep wants to get rid of that heavy coat. George figured all that sheep hair was being taken to a trash can. But the farmer had other plans. A sheep's hair is called wool. And after you wash it, you comb it out. And dye it. Then spin it into yarn and use it to make things like sweaters, socks, and blankets. So people help sheep stay cool in the summer, and sheep help people stay warm in the winter. Ooh! <laughs> George had been saving his allowance for months, and now he knew what he wanted to spend it on. You want to buy a scarf? You won't need it till next winter, George. Are you sure? Contestants for the sheep herding, Mr. Rankins and his dog, Bo. Whoops, we're gonna be late. Uh, come on. <laughs> nice scarf, George. <laughs> Hiya, Grandpa. Hi, Bo. Ready? Well, it's up to Bo to herd the sheep around those barrels and into that empty pen. And Bo knows what to do because of your grandpa's whistling. Now, those whistles are actually commands for Bo to follow. He just whistled head toward the sheep and then get them closer together. If he can get the sheep in the pen before two minutes are up, they won. Farmer Rankin's wins! <laughs> Good job! Mr. Yellow Pants. It's too bad you didn't get a scarf, though. I bet I know what color you'd like. Maybe next time. Hey, I have to finish some errands, George. I, I won't be long. George wondered if there was some way to knit the scarf back together. George was excited because he was going to see his very first baseball game. Marco's team, the Cubby Bears, versus the Tiger Babies. Hey, George, throw me the ball! <laughs> I just wish I could bat as well as I catch. I still have never hit a home run. You'll do it someday, Marco. And in the meantime, you're still our favorite shortstop. <laughs> Come on, George. I'll introduce you to the coach. 
Bye, Mommy. Papi. Bye. Bye. Have, Have a, a good, good game. game. Hey, Coach. This is my friend George. Put her there, kid. Uh, if I'm going to get good at batting, I need more practice. Would you mind pitching? Hey, who's running this outfit? Nah, it's a good idea. <laughs> what about you, kid? Huh? You want to warm up with the team? Marco, keep your eyes on the ball. <laughs> nice glove work, kid. Some runner. Warm up's over, guys. It's time to play ball. Hello, baseball fans. Looks to be an exciting contest of bears versus babies. It says our scorekeeper has a boo boo and can't make it. George could be scorekeeper. You think you can do it, kid? You have to hang a new number each time a team scores a run. <laughs> then what are you waiting for? Go keep score! <laughs> Play ball! This must be the scoreboard, and these must be the numbers. Top fly, and that's our first out. Three strikes, out number two. <laughs> and it's a sharp single towards second base. Oh, what a catch yeah. by Marco! The toss to first base, and that's the third out. Now the Cubbies are up to bat. By the third inning, George had discovered that sometimes scorekeepers have a lot of free time. Come on, hit a home run. You can do it. And the pitcher winds up. Marco strikes a solid single to right field, and he's safe at first base. <laughs> oh, a strong hit down the right field line. And the right fielder is having a little trouble finding the ball. Run, run, go! Will Marco be able to score from first base? Slide. Time to put up a number. Ah, folks, uh, I gotta clean my glasses because I did not see five runs being scored. Hey, George, that's the wrong number. <laughs> Lower, kid. Huh? <laughs> Uh, George, you're really good at hanging numbers, but now they have to go in the right order. What did that mean? In order? It was an exciting day to be a door dog, because he and the doorman were expecting a very exciting delivery. <sighs> Didn't you sleep last night? <laughs> Me neither. I was too excited about our big delivery. Oh, oh boy, are we glad to see you. Whoa. When the doorman said a big delivery, he meant a big delivery. Whoa. <laughs> What's in this thing? My Western town. A whole town? Boop. In a box? Uh-huh. 
It's for my train set. I wish I could set it up right now, but I'm on duty. <laughs> yeah, we'll set it up. We love trains. Hey, oh. thanks. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hundley and the doorman had built the most amazing train set ever. There was a future town, a farm town, and even a mountain town. <laughs> the western town goes right there. Relax, Hunley. George and his friends will be very careful. Uh -huh. Sure. Absolutely. It's okay, fella. If you're worried, why don't you stay here and keep an eye on them? You can nap when they're done. Oh. Hundley would not rest until the last piece of track had been laid. Oh. But before Hundley knew it, the West was done. Doesn't it look great? <laughs> Uh-oh, the track is missing a pin. See? There it is! Oh, excuse me. Sorry. The pin was lost. Don't worry, we'll find it. Not only was the pin lost, but the apartment was a wreck. I wish there was a quick way to sift through all this dirt. Hey, good idea, George. We can make sifters with our fingers. But sifting is a slow business and boring. It made a sleepy dog even sleepier. Ha! I feel like a miner in some old western movie. Oh, my darling, oh, my darling, oh, my darling little pin. First we had you, then we lost you. Wish we'd see you once again. First we had you, then we lost you. Wish we'd see you once again. Morning, Deputy. Boop. Big day today with the train tracks joining up. Boop. I wrote a little song all about it. Would you like to hear it? <laughs> it goes something like this. Prairieville was neat and clean. Had the best sheriff you've ever seen. His deputy was on the ball. Boop. Though he was just inches tall. Way out yonder, further still. Prairieville, Prairieville. Stuck out in Nowhereville. But all that's about to change when the tracks join across the range. When the tracks join across the range. <laughs> 